So if you suddenly started developing pain around this part of your hip joint after increasing the amount of exercise that you've been doing, then in a younger person this might mean uh, an injury to the cartilage around the hip joint or what's called the labrum. So depending on how irritable it is, you may need to cut down on your activity level just to let things settle down. But here's some great exercises just to keep the mobility of the joint and the strength of the muscles around the hip as well. So the first exercise we're going to do is what's called a figure of four stretch. So <coughs> Kate's just going to pop her foot up onto her knee there and then pushing the knee away, feeling a stretch around this part of her hip here. And to progress that, you can hold between your legs and hold around the back of the other leg and pull up towards you. So holding that for 30 seconds and repeating that three times a day. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is what's called a bridge. So bringing your heels up towards your bottom just to focus on the glutes a little bit more and then lifting the pelvis up to the ceiling just to feel that good contraction into the glutes and open up, open up through the hip and you can progress that by stretching one leg away. So trying to aim to do 15 to 20 of those if you can just to get that good strengthening effect. Okay, and then the final exercise is lying on your side and strengthening the muscle around the top, uh, top part of the hip called the glute medius. So knees bent up and feet on top of each other and then lifting the top leg up to the ceiling. So this is called a bent leg lift and you can do these until you feel a good activation into the glutes. What can also help with a problem like this is some regular Pilates to help strengthen the core and the glute areas. So hopefully some of those exercises will help manage any hip pain that you have been getting, but obviously if you have got any questions, please feel free to contact us.